Today's talk is going to be focused on the different types of computer-generated translation systems, also known as automated uh, translation, and sometimes also known as machine translation, MT. The different types of automated translation systems, are there are several, uh, and let's uh, see what they are. And the first one is uh, kind of the sexy name that was used uh, back in the 1980s and caught on called Translation Memory, TM. Uh, that is basically what is known as example-based machine translation because you create a kind of a, think of it as Microsoft Word in the source language like Japanese and a target language like English and another target language is German. And you have this multilingual search and replace that is available between each of the, the t different documents. So that if you've seen, if you have uh, all the sentences are all lined up, completely aligned between the, these Microsoft Word documents, it, the example of this would be. And then once you've already seen this line or the sentence once, uh, and you've translated it, and it already exists in English, Japan, you know, in German, and also in the source language Japanese, you've seen it once, then the next time that you come across it, you've seen that example before, and it will automatically look up the source, recognize it, and replace it, copy and replace the existing translation into the new document of the new translation. That's called example-based machine translation. The second type is known as rule-based machine translation. What is that? Well, you take some grammar rules, just as we have all learned in types of books that we've used to learn our first language or our second languages. And we take a dictionary, of a general dictionary, and all the words that are in there and all the rules of, of forming those, the parts of the words. So we take all these declensions and we take all the conjugations and we build them into the system as rules. And then we have this, it's all coded in, and when we send a sentence through, it will recognize words that are in the system, all the parts of those words, and the combination of those words together as grammar rules, and it will generate a translation from the source language to the target language. That's known as rule-based machine translation. Over the past five to seven years is the third type, and that's known as statistical-based machine translation, SBMT. That is kind of the new buzzword because what you do is you take all the content that you have uh, that are all the translation memories or all the marketing documents or all the legal documents or all the website content and you put it into this huge repository and even maybe different sub-repositories based on certain types of vertical sectors or domains. And then you train a statistical system to be able to recognize the different occurrences or examples of words, of strings of words, specific words, across different contexts that are available in different sentences or different phrases across all of this content that you have put into this repository. And these words will happen in different, different contexts, different places, different configurations. And what the statistical base MC to MC system does is recognize that these exist in these different places. And then it will guess what is the best possible translation of that word based on these examples. So it's very uh, it's statistical, a lot of probability, and a little bit of guessing. So it really depends on having a lot of content to uh, use, to access, to gather, and to train this system to recognize. So it will only recognize what it's seen before and can do guessing on. Whereas the rule-based system, which we've seen a couple minutes ago, is basically a combination of grammar rules and a few, a few dictionaries. And, and you can even, on those other dictionaries in the rule-based system, you can create customer-specific customer dictionaries, specific ones on top of it. The last type, the fourth one, is what is known as hybrid. Hybrid, what you do is you take two or more of these different types of machine translation systems, you combine them so that there is a primary one and then secondary or tertiary ones. So sometimes you could take a statistical system and make that as your primary. And then you can add grammar and terminology rules into it as add-ons. Okay, so that's maybe some pre-processing or some post-processing. On the other hand, you can make a hybrid system where you can take a rule-based system as the main one with those rules, uh, 
the grammar rules and the, and the, and the and dictionaries. And you can add on some pre-processing algorithms or some post-processing algorithms to be able to, to optimize it. So these are all the different types of systems that are available and uh, on the market today and just let you know what we're doing today. And uh, we'll have a few more videos on specific examples of how we're doing that. Have a good day.